Welcome to Design Studio. I'm so excited. So I'm going to show you guys the drawing in all its glory. No color because I forgot to scan it in for you guys. So here it is before we begin. There's all the details. And the first thing I do is I take my eraser, that big honking one, and I, well, I got some mistakes, like blurbs and stuff on the outside. I got all my stuff, my little thumbnails, and I have my colors that I'm going to be using, the ones I'm going to use for reference, the other ones below, the ones in pen. Those are the colors I'm going to be using. And next up, I have all my inspiration. You know, get me in the mood. So, my hair, all the colors I'm going to need for reference, because I'm going to be using the hairstyle later. So I'm trying to illustrate that I put the croquis underneath the paper, hi Jay, and I keep it under there until it's all drawn because I never know when I'm going to, I use my little clipboard so it doesn't shift around. I got all my food, my drinks, it's 1.30, note the time, turning on my mp3 player, Jesse J playing. So um, then I take it out because I don't want all my pencil coloring to ruin my croquis paper. I want it to be pristine. So now I'm taking my eraser and I'm dabbing all the lead from my pencil off because I want it to be colored. It's like when you're doing a, a painting, you don't want the pencil to show through. You want the colors to stand out of its own. And uh, now I'm taking my mechanical eraser and I'm getting all the fine lines because the big one gets most of it, but then there's little bits and pieces. You need something finer to get those points. And I'm showing you right here how light it is. I'm probably, I do end up lighting it a lot more. Like, because I just feel like some areas that super light color, like this yellow right here that I'm using, which is deep yellow number one. I use all Laurentian pencil crayons, by the way. So, um, I'm taking my eraser because I realized that because it's such a light color, the pencil crayon, or my pencil is going to show through and I don't want that and I'm starting out by outlining everything so I don't let I just feel like when you are fashion illustrating or any kind of color illustrating see want to make sure that you see the color um nothing says cheap like not being precise and that includes going outside the line so I make sure to like draw a perimeter around all the areas that I'm going to be coloring. And if you make a mistake, what's great about pencil crayons is you can just take your eraser and just fix that little boo-boo. So I'm doing all my outlining and now that's all done and I'm coloring it in now. And um, what you want to make sure, because the paper's white, all that area that's like um, highlighted because of the direction of sunlight, which is usually from my top right, I can just leave that area white or like really, really lightly colored. So I'm going to show you there's light and then there's super, super concentrated color. So the areas that have highlight, either leave it white or really super lightly color it. So that way, like you can, if you miss a spot, you can just take your eraser as I'm doing now so that those appropriate areas are supposed to be highlighted are. When you're using the eraser, because I'm using it in multiple colors, I always make sure to erase it off and make sure no color from yellow is going to be transferred to like my purple, which I'm going to be using later. So it's like makeup. Don't cross contaminate your makeup. So um, now I'm going over with white because I want to blend everything because I find no matter what color or darkness it is, you want to make sure it doesn't look grainy. Like, I have really good eyesight, so I notice those things. So there's all my highlighted areas, all my dark areas. And now I'm going to use my light orange. And I'm just going to use, it's a light orange, number 30. And I'm just going to um, darken up those areas that are supposed to be darkened. And I've also used my tangerine, number 33. And now I'm using my grape, or not grape, actually. <laughs> It's a purple number five. So again, I do all my outlining. And now I'm going to use my blueberry. It's so, like, I love my blueberry. I use it so much. So it's number 41. So 
So you can see the regular grape and the dark darkness. And now you can see really well. Like that's how much I wanted it darkened and just intensified with the purple. Because the purple number five just wasn't doing it. So I used the number 41 blueberry. So now I'm on my emerald green number eight. And I'm going to do that, um, that collar piece I was telling you about. It's almost like a rock. And then I realized that I should probably do my fine point gold first, which is actually number 62. That's the metallic gold number 62, which is a lot different than the regular gold number 49, which is more copperish. So I like the number 62 because it's more creamy. So I just, my uh, pine green was breaking a lot. So now I'm on to my metallic green number 66. I can see that's darkened up. I've done the bottom of the shoes. And now I'm on to my skin, which is a light peach number 14. And like when I do my skin, because I'm using so many layers, so many different colors, I had to do it extremely lightly. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to taking my white and just blending it all in. So I'm actually going to do a little demonstration on here. So what you see on this page is what you're going to see in the whole thing. So that way I can just skip over it and you guys can see the finished product. Um, so I'm using an Arizona Topaz number 20 and I just give it a little bit of like yellow. It's really, really light, even lighter than the peach. And I have two different browns. One's a chestnut 11. The other one is a dark brown 48. Uh, the chestnut brown is a little bit more lighter and a little bit red undertone which gives it that warmth so when you're doing your brown you want to make sure it's not as pointed you want to make sure it's blunted I'm using my cotton white number 23 to blend it all in so with the brown you don't want any streaks so that's what I mean you gotta like not as pointed blunt it down so that way there's my gold number 62 so that way it doesn't leave any streaks because when you're trying to blend it it really comes out so be careful when you're using a brown because there's always that kind of brown tanned undertone. So now what I'm doing is I'm drawing on that gold sheer overlay and I'm just trying to test out like how transparent it's going to look. I'm trying to make sure it comes off on this test paper well enough so that it'll translate to my official drawing. So I don't want to ruin my drawing because once you go there, you can't go back. So now I'm going over my skin tone and I'm darkening up with some brown because it wasn't as tanned as I wanted it to so I was darkening up with the chestnut 11 and now I'm going over the gold with the dark brown 48 and I'm just outlining all those details so here's what it looks like so that's the kind of effect that I want now I'm actually gonna go back later so I'm starting my gold so that's without so that's when she's kind of like half naked um, I'm going over with gold and I'm going to come back later and I'm going to realize that, oh, I should probably start outlining it in brown so that the gold pops off. So that's my brown 48 with my gold and the chestnut is for the skin. So I have two really dark browns and I'm switching it up. But that dark brown 48, I'm actually going to end up using for the hair. So this is what I mean when I said it brings it out. So now you can see the difference. The left is without, the right is with the brown. And this is the finished product. I just got to skip all that. A lot of, lot of time went by. Um, if you can see the clock is now 5 o'clock. So now I'm starting on the hair. And I am taking my raspberry 36 and my grape violet number 37 and I'm matching it up. Just want to see you guys. I would lose Laurentian. I want to use Prismacolor at some point, but um, for some reason I found that the couple that I had um, broke a lot, but I'm willing to give it a second try because, you know, they maybe got the formula a lot better. So I'm doing my testing again. So I just started with my Raspberry and then followed with my Grape Violet. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. And now that you know what the sample looks like, I can just skip that. But I'm actually going to start with my hair first. So I always start with the darkest because it's such a dark, dark brown. I start with black, 
so that I get all the hair tresses because if you don't get those fine lines when you go over with your like medium color you're gonna lose all those details so I start with the black and I outline everything and then I color it in with my medium color so I started with black 12 or was it light black 56 either or they're pretty close um, so then I color it with my dark brown and I do use use this white to highlight those areas and so you can see that that's the finished project of her hair oh I just look gorgeous and boom there are my flowers because you saw that little sample so I just finished that in a heartbeat well actually no not really but now I'm showing you the stems that are pointing out the right side of her face between the picture and the illustration right there so that's the finished product of her head so now I'm just going over it again with gray because I want to shade it all first and now I'm going over with my chestnut 11 that warmth and giving her a more tanned look so once that's finished up now you can see it so now I'm gonna move on to my drawing pens I have number five out and I'm gonna do all the silhouette so I'm just starting that off now look at the difference a pen makes so that's all finished there's the silhouette and now I'm going to go on to my fine line. Look at that. That's all done. If you don't remember what it looks like, the beginning, here it is. That's what it looks like. Monochromatic, no color. So there's just the drawing. And now we're going to go back. Dun, 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 dun. It's finished. Hi. So... There's a lot of work that goes on, and I just really want to thank you guys for watching. So stay tuned for more videos and post requests in the comments.